Hi everybody, Knowledge Academy welcomes you. In this video, we are going to discuss the exam pattern and uh, syllabus of computer based test 2 of RRB examination. So, this is for uh, assistant loco pilot and uh, technicians. So, most of you might have cleared CBT 1 examination and waiting for CBT 2 examination may have little confusion uh, regarding the exam pattern and uh, syllabus. So, here is the video to remove all your doubts. So before entering into the video kindly subscribe my channel knowledge academy now let us in discuss about this so here there are two categories one is assistant local pilot and another one is technicians and there is no computer based aptitude test after cbt2 for technician they can directly enter into certificate verification process whereas for uh, the candidates who are writing the examination in assistant local pilot they have to go for another test called as computer based aptitude test after clearing cbt2 CBD computer based test 2 and uh, after clearing uh, computer based aptitude test they can enter into certificate verification and uh, the candidates uh, called for certificate verification they have uh, for them 70 percentage of the marks is considered from CBT2 and 30 percentage of the marks is considered from computer based aptitude test based on the meritorious list is produced and uh, they will be called for certificate verification okay so now let us look into the exam pattern of computer based test 2 which is common for both assistant loco pilots and uh, technicians okay so there are two parts in which the examination is conducted uh, in part a it is general thing uh, like uh, mathematics general intelligence and reasoning basic science and engineering general awareness on current affairs so the questions will be related to these topics okay and uh, in uh, Part B, the questions will be asked from the trade in which the candidate has applied for. Okay. So here, part A is there, part B is there. One has to get a very good mark in part A and uh, he has to qualify. The candidate must qualify part B. Only then the candidate will be called for computer-based aptitude test or will be called for the certificate verification process. Okay. So it is not required to get 100% in uh, part B. Whereas one has to get 100, one has to try to get 100 percentage in party. So the thing is, I will tell you, if one candidate gets, and uh, you should not think that uh, part B is also, then part B is not so important. No, it is not like that. Okay. For example, if a candidate gets 100 percentage in party and he is not able to get the qualifying marks in part B, then he will not be called for the next round. Okay, so whereas let us consider two candidates. One candidate is getting 50 percentage in part A. Okay, and another candidate is getting 60 percentage in part A. Okay, right. So 50 percentage in part A by one candidate, 60 percentage in part A by another candidate. Okay, the candidate who secured 60 percentage in part A is has not qualified in part B. Okay, whereas the candidate who has got 50 percentage in part A has qualified in part B then this candidate okay the candidate who got 50 percentage only will be called for the next round the candidate who scored 60 percentage in party he will not be called so this is the understanding of this exam pattern okay and here negative marking is that yes of, of course one by three marks will be detected for wrong answers okay whereas in computer based aptitude test which is for assistant local pilots in the next round after clearing cbt2 there is no negative marking okay so now let us discuss in detail okay so the minimum qualification qualifying mark for um, part a is unreserved 40 percentage obc 30 percentage then uh, sc 30 percentage st 25 percentage so this is qualifying but you don't go for qualifying marks go for higher marks okay you should try to get more than qualifying marks okay whereas in part b it is enough to get qualifying marks okay to get clear to get selected for the next round okay right so the syllabus in uh, the first topic is mathematics the syllabus of mathematics is given here okay so number system board mass decimal fraction lcm and hcf ratio and proportion percentage mensuration time and work time and distance simple and compound interest profit and loss algebra geometry trigonometry elementary statistics square root age calculations cal calendar and clock pipes and systems etc okay so these topics are nothing but they are quantitative aptitude so if you are go good enough in quantitative aptitude then definitely you will have a strong hand in over that then the next one is general intelligence and reasoning so here uh, the topics uh, the subtopics in under general intelligence and reasoning are analogous alphabetical and uh, number uh, coding 
number series, coding and decoding, mathematical operations, relationships, syllogism, jumbling, Venn diagram, data interpretation and sufficiency, conclusion, decision making, similarities and differences, analytical reasoning, classification, direction, statement, arguments and assumptions. Okay, verbal and non-verbal reasoning, the questions related to those things. Okay, and in basic science and engineering, you should have knowledge in uh, engineering drawing okay engineering drawing projection views uh, drawing instruments lines geometry figures symbolic representation units and measurement mass and density work power and energy speed and velocity heat and temperature basic electricity levers and simple machines occupational safety and health environment education it literacy etc okay so the things the basic knowledge in physical science is very important not biological science okay physical science the knowledge in physical science is very important okay then uh, the last one is uh, general awareness on current affairs in science and technology sports culture personalities economics politics and any other subject of importance so if you have the habit of reading newspapers daily then uh, the questions asked in these topics will not be going to be a matter for you okay then this is regarding part a so part a you try to get as much as you can okay then this is part b part b you have to definitely score this qualifying mark of 35 percentage okay so this is applicable for all candidates no relaxation uh, related with community with respect to community there is no relaxation and there will be 75 questions and the time duration is 60 minutes okay and you have to get qualifying marks of 35 percentage to um enter it into that meritorious list okay so even if you go maximum marks in part a and if you are not able to get this qualifying mark in part b will not be called for the next round so this is regarding part a and part b but you try to get as much as you can in part b also the reason is the candidates uh, the because of for final selection for certificate verification your cbt2 score is considered 70 percentage of importance is given to cbt2 and 30 percentage is 30 percentage of importance is given to computer based aptitude test so whatever the examination whatever is, whether it is cbt2 or a computer based aptitude test try to get as much as you can to enter into that meritorious list okay so this is regarding uh, part b and uh, in part b the questions the syllabus is with respect to the trade that you have applied for okay so mm, there are five trades you might uh, you might have applied for the questions will be asked related to the trade that you have applied for and the syllabus is given in the website director general of employment and uh, training so uh, director general of employment and training website dget website they have given the syllabus for this for this thing okay so in the trade electrical engineering and combination of various streams of electrical engineering the trade is electrician instrument mechanic then wireman winder refrigeration and air conditioning mechanic then in all the trades max and physics is common okay electronics engineering and combination of various electronics engineering the topics will be from electron the questions will be asked from electronics mechanic mechanic radio and tv max hsc and physics hsc the syllabus of all these things are given in that dget website okay then mechanical engineering fitter mechanic motor vehicle tractor mechanic mechanic diesel turner machinist refrigeration and air conditioning mechanic heat engine millwright maintenance mechanic then max physics hsc Automobile engineering for automobile engineering it is mechanic motor vehicle tractor mechanic mechanic diesel heat engine refrigeration and air conditioning mechanic max physics hsc and then hsc and physics for, for them electrician electronics mechanic wireman max hsc physics okay so for all the trades max and physics is common so um this is regarding uh, part b okay the syllabus related to part b you can refer to that website okay the questions will be asked from that I hope that uh, you might have a very clear knowledge regarding the exam pattern, how the candidates are selected and uh, regarding the number of candidates I forgot to speak. From CBT1 to CBT2, 15 times the vacancies of the particular community is selected. Okay, Whereas from CBT2 to computer based aptitude test, 8 times the number of vacancies will be, uh, will be uh, selected, will be called for computer based aptitude test. Okay and uh, then for uh, certification process uh, certificate verification process 
based on the meritorious list 70 percentage of importance from uh, cbt2 and 30 percentage to computer based uh, aptitude test so a list will be produced so from that meritorious candidates will be called for okay so this is regarding uh, the number of candidates uh, that will be called for uh, the next rounds of interview okay so i hope uh, this video will uh, will be useful for you in understanding the exam pattern and syllabus and uh, the number of candidates how this process goes on um, so if you like this video come kindly comment like share and don't forget to subscribe my channel knowledge academy meet you again in the next video thank you